There's a song called Compass, which is the first like lyric song, really, uh, that you hear on the record. I used to write way more um, on guitar as a you know younger musician because I just guitar is such a beautiful. Uh, it's just an easy instrument to accompany yourself with. But I'd always approach the mandolin from more of a bluegrass setting where, you know, it was more of a rhythm instrument that I would play a solo, but uh, more of a percussive instrument, which, you know, if I just sat there and played a chop chord behind my voice for an entire song, it's not nearly as full and beautiful as a guitar, you know. So I started rethinking with, with way to, around the time that I decided to do Way to Mine, I started rethinking the way in which I would use the mandolin as a, an instrument to accompany myself as a, a, a singer. But I went in and I recorded six tracks um, completely different than what they ended up being on Way to Mind, but a lot of the same songs. So I recorded Compass, Wings of the Dawn, Way to Mind, I'll Be Fine, even a version of what became Stranded. The opening piece was like an actual longer thing as part of another medley with a, another song. Um, all these songs that ended up, and some of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about here, but my latest album, Way to Mind, is all these original songs, and I worked with Bela Fleck on that record as producer, and I ended up um, kind of circling back around after getting frustrated with both what I was working on and frustrated with my label a little bit at the time and just, like, too many cooks in the kitchen. I just kind of went, okay, I'm going to, like, set this out here for a minute because, you know, I'm starting to not even know what I think about it. And... Um, coming like I hardly played mandolin very much on those original tracks because I knew that I wanted the songs to be the center of what it was that I did next like I'd already made a couple records that you know where I played plenty of mandolin like people thought of me as a mandolin player you know first and a singer but not so much as a songwriter and I really felt like it was the first time that I was like okay for whatever reason these songs are really important to me and I need to be able to like put them, you know, put them out, put, put that forward as the thing that I'm trying to show, not check out my mandolin playing or not even check out my singing, but like check out these songs. This is what I want to say. And so uh, even at that point, I had written Weighted Mind started on guitar, Compass started as guitar, and Wings of Dawn. Actually, all, most of the songs started as uh, guitar. So Compass... Um, um, this was the, the original guitar riff that became, if I can remember how to go. Which I don't know if you can even really hear that. You know, but but on mandolin, so let me switch I think I even ended up changing the key up a step later um, but that was originally what it started so then when I decided to put it on mail hear the similarity So, so it's, it's, you know, the same riff on guitar, but thinking of it in more of a, a mandolin way. So that's like the musical element that sort of changed, and then some of that. But from a lyrical standpoint, I had written, uh, I had written these lyrics first. I remember just writing them down as lyrics before music, and then I'll, I'll get... I'll get uh, um, so, you know, had that little guitar riff going and then later went, oh, I thought, I, I think this melody will go with these lyrics that I had written, which were separate ideas, right? So I decided to put them together. So I'm bouncing around a lot here, but this, I promise there's a point in this. So to the octave mandolin now. <laughs> so I had these lyrics, I'd like to say to you, come follow, but you may find my heart's been hollowed out. Seems the water here is shallow, but it's over my head and still I swallow. So um, it started as a song called Black River, those same lyrics that later also became Compass. So, uh, there's, so let me play it in context. I'll do both here.
So that was all I had of this. And maybe I had, you know, a thousand years is but a day, they say. And maybe in a thousand more, I will find my way. But I didn't have, like, a second verse at all. Um, and so, for whatever reason, this was like a piece that started first. Um, I kind of set it aside, as you do songs when you can't finish them, and had kind of forgot about it. I'm working on this record and thinking of the songs that I have that are finished. And to me, I like this piece, but it's, you know, I didn't really know what I was going to do it. So I had a co-write coming up, which I do that often uh, with, with friends in Nashville. I had a co-write coming up. And showed this guitar riff, which is totally separate musical idea from what this song was, Black River. Um, and I said, you know, I've been working on this other song, but I can't really seem to finish it. So I basically gave the lyrics to this song. I thought, well, I'll come back to the idea of Black River and like write that. But I took the verse that was going to be the song, the original idea for this song, and I gave it to this song called Compass. So we finished it. We finished the whole song. Um, so now I'm thinking, all right, well, I'm even less further along now. Now, this was early in my co-writing. I probably wouldn't do that now. I probably would go, no, I'm not going to give that idea away. I'm going to keep that, and we'll, we'll find a new idea. But I really wanted to see this, this lyrical idea become something, right? So, um, so we start, we write the song Compass, which I played on guitar and then ended up recording on guitar on my original cut of the song. Well, then when I decided to go back and use the mandolin t to be more of the centerpiece of the album that I was going to make and to just try to breathe new life into these songs I'd been living with for a while in a different way, I wanted to like restructure them. So I started thinking about the mandolin in a solo context and what it would sound like. So I went, okay, well, so Compass became... I'd like to say to you, come follow, but you may find my heart's been hollowed out. Same lyrics. Seems the water here is shallow, but it's over my head, it's still I swallow. Of course the chorus is... So, so different chorus, but the exact same lyrics as what I had thought I was going to do with Black River. So we get all the songs ready, and we're about two weeks out from getting ready to make my album that became Way to Mine. And so they're like, um, I said, Bela, I was like, I know. I was like, let me play you a little bit. I was like, here's the problem. It's the same lyrics as Compass, which is, you know, not... I'd have to rewrite it. I was like, I have to rewrite it, but I'm going to just play it because it's the same lyrics, but just imagine these were different lyrics. And then I still need to write a second verse, but was thinking maybe this song is worth pursuing because I liked it, and I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it out there and see what he thought. Like, I have to finish it, and I know we only got two weeks, but, like, check this out. So I played it for him, and he was like, I like that. And he goes, I don't think you need to change the lyrics. He said, actually, what I think a cool idea would be, what if we open the record with Compass with these lyrics and we close the record with Black, Black River where the same lyrics come back, kind of like bookends of a record, but in two completely different forms. You know, So you hear the same lyric again, but you might not even realize you're hearing the same lyric because the context is so different, right? So I'm not saying recycle your lyrics, but just saying, you know, so often, you know, I could have went, oh, I'm not even going to mention this idea. And see, that wasn't my idea. That was his, but I went, that's so cool. Yeah, that's a great idea. So let me just write a second verse and, and you know, it'll be this interesting part of sort of the arc of the album. And so, you know, but me always being my own worst critic, you know, is just kind of like, well, that sucks. I mean, I want to do it, but like, I know I have to, I know I have to rewrite this because, you know, I have to, because there's all these rules and stuff. Um, you know, and, and so I ended up, you know, putting them both on the record. Um, 
So it, you know, started with just a lyrical idea that I matched up with a guitar instrument. Well, a lyrical idea that I actually paired with this idea of Black River. Later, completely took away, put with a different, put that lyric with a different guitar medley, and had a friend help me finish. Only to circle back around and just, you know, finish Black River. So, like, there's no real. I mean, there's plenty of things you could say. You know, this is good things to put into place. Like, um, there's a great, well, there's some great books by some folks, that, some songwriters um, that teach songwriting at Berkeley, a guy named Mark Simos, a guy named Pat Patterson. Um, they both have, you know, some great resources of like, you know, how to strengthen your lyric writing or exercises you can do that are like, okay, take 10 minutes in the morning and sit there and just write. It doesn't, you know, only 10 minutes. Like, set the timer, see how much you can write in 10 minutes. Like, those kind of, you know, quick, given everything you've got in those 10-minute spurts, you know, can also be a, a crazy tool to, like, even if you get two or three lines that you're like, wow, that was cool. Um, it's like an idea generator, yeah. And so, or or to just do like free form writing where you're not even thinking about anything, you know. And this this is just talking about lyrics, but but just sit down and and write. And so I've I've gotten way more into that in recent years of just you know um, stringing together like words and phrases that that both, you know, either really just mean something to me personally because they say what I'm trying to say, or sometimes there's just things that feel good. They kind of just like they're rhythmic. They roll off the tongue. They feel satisfying to sing, you know. Some things are like, okay, this is me trying to pour my heart out here. 